Right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So um, this is a weird one because this is going to be uploaded in a, like in a week or two um, because what I'm going to unbox is actually like a few of them are for me but a few of them are also gifts um, for other people that hopefully you guys will see and that makes sense after it happens. Um, well I guess I can say because it would have already happened by now. Um, some of these I've bought for Emma at um, Emma Greenwood um, on YouTube. So um, that's why this video is going to be uploaded later down the line. But some of these are also for me as well because I can't place an order without without getting myself something too, I suppose. <laughs> so yeah, I've ordered some begonias from Dibley's. Yeah, I have ordered from Dibley's before and they turned up like okay, they're just quite young. That what well, I guess that's you, you know that when you're buying them, but they are very just very very small plug plants. Um, but I've bought eight plants in here and. Honestly, I don't remember what varieties I picked because this uh, I've silly silly enough I I bought them just as the bank holiday was coming up. So there was two days where um, well, I mean these were in the post for these have been in the post for about five days now. So I'm really hoping that they're okay. I know begonias are a little bit like um, a little bit um, nickety. Is that no? What's the word? A little bit. Finicky, that's the word. <laughs> Nickety. Um, so yeah, I'm going to turn the camera around, open them here. I'm going to pot them up as well because um, they're going to need repotting. Well, they're going to need potting up. And yeah, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm doing because I'll turn the camera around and you'll see it all. Um, it's very late at night whilst I'm recording. So um, if I'm sounding tired or coming across confused, they are both correct. Um, yeah, so I'll turn the camera around right now and we'll get straight into it. Right, so I've just cleared a little space here and we're gonna get straight into it. The lighting's gonna be a little bit odd, but that's because it is obviously so, so late at night. Um, I'm really hoping they're all okay. I don't know. Right. Oh. Okay, right, I think um, I think we look, we look okay. Right, I may turn the camera around actually and show them one by one. I think that would be a bit better. Right, okay, I did change my mind so the camera is back on me. <laughs> right, I'll, t I'll just stick them on my lap and we can look at them one at a time. Um, and then I'll pop them up after and you'll be able to see them closer. So I did get some really cool varieties. Um, I know Emma has a huge collection already. Oops. And it was, I've probably got a duplicate, I've probably already got something that she already has, but um, I don't remember which ones are hers. I'll have to check afterwards, anyway. Um, all right, this first one here is a Pollux, it's called, with a P. And the leaves there look really nice. Kind of like a maple leaf shape. They are a bit squished, but I mean, that's fine. They This one looks really good, actually. Looks nice and healthy, nice size, really big. Um, and that is lovely. I'm happy with that, definitely. So that is, um, I believe, a rhizomatous, rhizomatous variety, I believe. I'll have to check. But yeah, that one looks really nice. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's like really, really dotty. Can you see? Yeah, I'm not sure you can see. <laughs> right, next up, one of these I know that I definitely did get for Emma. Oh wow, this is really big, that's a good size. Um, and this is the Marmaduke, and this one has a lot of coloration on it, that is incredible. On the pictures it looks, oh that smells, it smells like daffodils. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow, that looks well cool, look at that. So on the pictures, the dots are a lot smaller. This is, this is interesting because I am, um, Emma sent me a Marmaduke leaf cutting and hers is like majority just green so like I'd say probably even more green than that um, less dotting whereas this is the same variety but like look at the, the coloration on that leaf oh I love that I'm happy I got two of those I bought one for her and one for me <laughs> right I'll show the, the other Marmaduke quickly yeah this one's got a lot of speckle in as well look these are really good sizes, really good size. That is lovely. I think 
I think these were on sale as well. I think they were discounted. Yeah, so that coloration is so nice. That looks really, these look really healthy. Um, and yeah, that's really good. Both really good sizes, look at that. And I don't remember the prices. They will all be somewhere, but these are all between uh, between like three and four pounds each. Um, maybe one of them was uh, just a bit over, but oh, that one doesn't look very good. Right. Um. Right. Next up. Oh wow. Next up is we have Begonia Curly Fire Flush, and I kept going back to this one, and I, I kind of scrolled past it, and I was like, I was like, oh, it looks quite plain, but like if you actually look close up like can you see the hairs on that I don't know if you can but like it is covered in red like vibrant red hairs and that's beautiful and then it's got the twist as well so that one is lovely the lighting is really not not doing it justice but oh that is lovely and I've got two of those as well <laughs> one for her one for me so yeah we've got two of those and they look that is such a nice green that's really nice. Yeah, happy with those. Um, next up, we have what do we have next? What's this one? Oh, okay. This one is um, Begonia Listada. Listada. Um, it's in this little package. Uh, the first one that's small enough to actually hide in the package, which is good. This is a cane begonia, and I when I last ordered from Dibley's, I was umming and ahhing about this one. Uh, I, I, I didn't get it in the end because I kind of didn't love it enough but then after seeing it around there we go after seeing it around these are really nice and wet still they're, that's good yeah after seeing it around I decided I'd, I'd go for it because the like the leaf shapes there that one's actually really interesting because it's got like a little like a triangle leaf when they are ordinarily yeah they're all quite triangle I thought they were supposed to be like how am I going to explain this? Like double ended rather than triangular. But that's really, really nice. And they, yeah, they are covered in tiny little hairs as well. So that's really pretty. That's a cane begonia. And that is, I think that's my first, like, like proper cane begonia. As in, um, it's, well, I did, I did buy a cane begonia before, but it died. We won't go into that. <laughs> right. And then next up, we have two more of the same. And these look really good. Uh, are these cane begonias as well? Yeah, yeah, they are. Um, this, sorry, this is um, Begonia Connie Boswell. And I tried searching for pictures of this and I just could not find it because you type in Begonia Connie Boswell and it comes up with this lady who I'm assuming was Connie Boswell. Um, but the leaves, the leaves just look incredible. And it's got a really nice little pink hue to it as well, which, I don't know if you can really see it on camera. So like they are a little bit squished, but they don't look like they're like broken or torn or damaged. They just look like they're bent a little bit. So they'll probably kind of straighten themselves back up. But that is beautiful, that is. And yeah, a cane begonia, so it's already growing quite tall. I've got dirt in my hand. <laughs> um, and I did get two of those, but this one really doesn't look very good. Mm, this one doesn't look very good at all. I mean, Oh it's, oh, it's dry, that's why. Okay, so, okay, so it's just, oh, that's really weird. Yeah, it's just dry, so it's not, it's not snapped or anything. And look, you can see the, that fresh leaf there, like the coloration is beautiful. Um, yeah, this one's a little bit damaged on that leaf. Um, I'll get some water on him and he should be all right. So that's all of them. So now I'm going to get a better camera angle and some better lighting and we're going to pot them all up. Um, overall I'm actually quite happy with that but I only spent um, 30, yeah, £31.80. I think I have the prices here. Yeah, so some of them were £3.50 and some of them were £4 and that was all. <laughs> the most expensive thing from Dibley's is that their, their postage is like six pound eight well that person is six pound eighty which um seems uh, quite steep but you're getting begonias that you can't get anywhere else or that are harder to get anywhere else so like it's it's worth it if you're going to do a big order uh, but if you're just buying one it's like a little bit steep 
Um, yeah, but that obviously that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna change the camera around and we're gonna get potting up. Right, so I'll be able to give you a proper better look at them now. So this is the Listada here. And you can, yeah, you can see the coloration is so much better. So that is really pretty. And it is, like, I'm genuinely confused at the fact that it's a triangle. Because it was supposed to just be two, like, two bits, as I mentioned before. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to be putting them into these, like, I don't know what size that is, like two three inch pots, three inch, I think that's probably three inches. Um, and I think I'm going to take this cover off. I'm going to try it. Unless it damages too many of the roots, then I won't. But um, I'm going to try just because I don't really like the idea of it being in there because it does restrict the roots um, to an extent. So I've mixed up some soil here. Um, I've just mixed up some sphagnum moss with uh, multi-purpose compost and like um, sand and grit. Right, um, there we go. So I'll just be able to gently take this off because I, I really don't like how they because th like this isn't biodegradable either, and it doesn't really come off. It's like it's synthetic. I think. Syn synthetic. I think so. Uh, it eyes. I mean, there are some roots coming through it, but it's definitely going to be worth taking it off. Yeah, there we go. They probably advise against this, <laughs> and I don't blame them. There we go. Yeah, so it did damage a few of the roots, but um, that is going to be better in the long run. Right, let's get you in there. Just very gently. There we go. And the good thing about Dibleys is they always send these labels, which I like. So we've got a little label there. Cool. Right, so I've just filled up all of the pots because that was gonna get very tedious trying to do that like on camera, <laughs> filling them all up. So, right, next we'll go with the Pollock, uh, Pollocks. Um, this one's really, I just love, oh yeah, you can see the, the foliage a lot better now. You see how it's like all speckled, like that. It's really pretty. And I love that it's quite silvery, like quite grey foliage. Let's get you out of here without damaging you. And these are these are really good sizes as well, which I'm pleasantly surprised at, considering like my the last time I ordered, they were very, very, very small. Um, right, okay, this one has quite a lot of roots coming through, so I think I think I'll probably I'll probably leave this on. Um I don't want to do more damage than good. Like the other one was okay because there wasn't many roots coming through, but with this one, I just, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. So just gonna push a hole with my fingers and pop him straight in there. Cool, that's a really pretty one. And again, we've got the label, so perfect. Let's just stick that in there. I'm gonna run out of space for these begonias very soon. <laughs> um, the begonia that was wilting, I've stuck some water in its bag so it can perk back up before I, well, whilst it's waiting. Um, get this one out. This is one of the Marmadukes, which I love that name. I don't know why, but I just love that name. And these are looking, these look really healthy, really good size. There we go. Like these leaves are big enough to take um, like cuttings of. So I probably won't at the moment. I'll wait for them to kind of mature a bit more. Um, am I gonna take this cell off? No, this like, you see the roots are all coming through. So again, I'll just leave it. And then in the future, if it does become a problem, I can reconsider. <laughs> there we go. It does make them very easy to plant in these cells as well. And Marmaduke label. Um, there we go. So I just, that's ah oh, I don't know if that's my favourite one so far. It's just that coloration and how it's just random. Oh, this one looks weird. Oh, he's just a little bit damaged. Oh, and there's like a, a little baby leaf coming through here as well, and that is like the colours on that. Wow, love it, love it. Okay, cool. 
that one there. Right, and I'll quickly do the second Marmaduke. Um, I'll leave I'll leave the cells on for the ones that I'm giving to Emma, um, so that I can let obviously, um, etch so that she can decide if she wants to take them off or leave them on. Um, oh yeah, there's nice roots coming through the bottom here. So I'm glad they both look very similar. I mean, that one does the the one over there does have a lot larger leaves, but this one actually has more leaves. So they're both really. Look how beautiful is that? I love that, right. Yeah, they're both really good sizes, which I'm happy about. In we go. I think that may be my favorite <laughs> so far. Um, I'm probably gonna say that about all of, about all of them. Um, right, and then we have the, this is the Connie Boswell, I believe it was, yeah, Connie Boswell. Um, which is beautiful. Oh, yeah, I did get two of these. I was like, oh, did I get two or one of these? But yeah, I did get two. So, and it's going to be really interesting seeing how this grows because of obviously it being a cane begonia. Um, the internodes are very long, so I don't know. I, don't, I kind of don't want it to get too tall. I think that was what was putting me off of it to begin with. But look at that. The, just the shape of the leaf and like how, how big it is as well is beautiful. Yeah, I was a bit um, uncertain about getting a cane begonia, only because of how tall they get, and I just kind of had the idea in my head that they'd look messy after a while, but you don't know until you try, do you? So, and I do love begonias so much, so, so much. So, there we go. These are really easy to pop. Oh, wait, I haven't put the labels in. Right, so Marmaduke and then Connie Boswell. Yeah, and uh, like one of the things that was confusing me about this one as well is how amazing it looked in the picture. I kind of thought, oh, is it going to turn up looking that good though? Or is it kind of a little bit of like a bait? But it actually looks that good. Like, and for what, £3.50? Or it may have even been four pound or £3.50. Like, like, yeah, it's such a good, good price. Um, right, and the other Connie Boswell, should I? Yeah, he soaked, he soaked up the water that I, put, that I put in there so I can get him out. But like the size difference between this one and that one's like <laughs> very noticeable. Um, there we go. Hopefully this one does do fine. And oh, it looks like he's got two canes here. So he's got another little growing point coming up just there. So yeah, really pretty. And he's nice and moist now as well, so he's gonna he's gonna be fine. Um, let's just plonk you in there. I have to say that, that having them in cells does make them very easy to plant. <laughs> but again, I would probably prefer if they weren't in cells. But obviously, it makes it good, it, easier for shipping and all that. Um, did that one have a label? Yes, it did. Here we go. Cool. Yeah, definitely. What, which one do you guys think is your favourite? Because so far, I think the... Oh, I don't know, because I said the Marmaduke, and now I'm going to say the Connie Boswell. I just love them all, to be honest. And you can see there, yeah, you see the red the red hairs that I was talking about? Covered. Like, you can hear the texture. <laughs> um, there we get you off. So this is the Kylie Fire Flush. There you go. Oh, and it does get the, the dark edging as well. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, you can see the dark edging. That is lovely. I can't wait for these to kind of get growing and um, open open up fully because they're... Oh, I've got a nice new growth down the bottom. Uh, I don't know if this is... Um... Right, it doesn't mention what type of begonia it is, but yeah, I interested to see sort of the growth pattern of this one because it is so tall already um so that's going to be really interesting so none of my begonia I've, ever, I've only got one begonia that's really big and like established so it's going to be nice to get a few different varieties of established begonias there we go gently pull it back and then cool <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have no space 
Right, we've got one more, and then that's all of them. This is the other Connie, uh, sorry, the other Curly uh, Fire Flush. Um, again, a really nice size, and it's got that curl on this. Um, yeah, it's looking beautiful. I love that. Right, so this one, oh, this one's got some growth at the base as well. So that's really good. These are really nice, established. A lot more. Um, they seem a lot better than the last ones I got. Like they seem a lot more established in here. So very happy about that. Because <laughs> I was I was a little bit worried last time. I was thinking that I probably wouldn't order from them again. But after this, these are these are doing really. These are looking really good. So definitely probably will order from them again. <laughs> So yeah, that is looking really good. Right, so that's all the begonias over all you can see. Let me just... So they are all looking pretty amazing, I have to say. And the colours are just incredible. I love that. I love that there's so many different patterns and colours. Right, so I hope um, you guys enjoyed seeing that. I know it was very quick and like, just an unboxing, but um, I'm really happy with all of them. They are gonna grow really nicely. Or hopefully they're gonna grow really nicely. Um, I am increasing the humidity in my room at the moment, so hopefully they'll appreciate that. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how they do. Um, let me know what, what your favourite one was. It's so dark in here, it feels weird. <laughs> um, but overall, I'm like 10 out of 10 happy with all of that, and hopefully Emma has um, likes them too, because obviously this video is going to come out after. Um, but yeah, and the ones, I guess the ones that I sent to Emma, I'm going to have to take them back out of their pots but I'll just wrap them up with like damp tissue or something and they should be fine <laughs> but yeah I'm really really happy with all of that um let me know if you guys think that was a good price I think that was a good price to be fair so overall 31 pound and yeah and I got some beautiful begonias so um I'm really happy about that so um if you guys enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and I'll definitely keep you guys updated um and uh, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.